Alright, what is up guys? As always, welcome back to another OU Battle versus Sky, actually, from um, Twitter. And um, yeah, good team. Sun team-ish, maybe? I don't know. He got, like, every every cues here. To, uh, really, it looks very good and very well constructed. <laughs> so, about that lead. Rillaboom is actually quite annoying for me, naturally. He don't doesn't enjoy... Um, Hydreigon to an extent and uh, just overall I think I can pressure him but there are a lot of really good mods here that really pressures me back so I need to keep that money one in mind and uh, also very 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 nice profile picture there honestly like that that's that looked great let's see yes we get a dragon background let's see leads off with the Galgo path that looks about right so I figure it'd be a white herb shell smashing variant. Which, by the way, is awful in its own right. But, yeah. Uh, uh, it's not impossible to defeat it, just kind of rough to get right. So, all you turn here. It's gonna do easily a bit too low. <laughs> <laughs> and um, nothing to really want to take like damage that well um, at all actually hmm Resolve is kind of alright though it's a sack play at best let's find out we're chunky but Stone Edge could very much kill those crotch up directly okay cool is that a crit? That is a crit. Damn. So I was con I was really considering that white herb. So I guess it worked out alright. Skull is kind of free. So is flip turn. It's alright. It was scalding here anyway. I think Northern could come in. This is side stand though. This skull is gonna do alright. Burn? No. Ooh, there we go. That a crit from that Stone Edge would have been. Um, Nasty. So, flip turning here gets momentum, and um, I have to assume that uh, I have to assume that um, he's gonna stone edge again, and I want to try to stomach that with uh, with cyber axe. Let's see. Oof. Yeah, oof. I mean, it still did a lot, but uh, we're definitely safe. Meter Beam here or Meter Mash. Hope it doesn't outspeed me. I got some small speed investments. This my blast is super bulky. Um, oh. Oh. What is this? Dig? Huh. I'll take. I'll take it. Orangeel, let's go. Crobat week. Let's show them what you're all about. Dig was new. Dig was very new. Right, choice man and U-turn. Now, I'm not sure this could KO, but I'll take everything here. Oh, nice, nice. Um, that helped. That Barbarical was kinda, it lived way longer than it should have, um, for sure. Can I send in the energy freely? I don't know. Yeah, oh, let's do it. Really want to use the energy for quite some time. Haven't really got around to it. That's a bulkier the energy with body press. Um, the new set that I've been seeing has been with the Diamond Storm Covenage with body press. And I actually took the route of being relaxed just to get um, a high power moon blast. I don't want to be in bond with. Oh, that's the thing though. Really, <laughs> I knew something was up. Right, sending orange jelly again. Um, but yeah, basically the combination is um, it's good for it if you get it to work. So let's see. Drum beating. That's not going to be annoying. We're gonna soak that alright, but that's not that's gonna be annoying. 
I lose my speed, but to what cost? Still think a bandit like Freebird is doing all right. Only like issue I think is AD slash. Then again, my opponent should probably probably feel that favor and just bring in AD slash. I kind of wish I went for crunch. Let's see. Oh, ooh, yeah, that's resisted for sure. We do want speed here though, so let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. I'm at minus one, but I'm pretty sure I should still be able to have speed. And um, Joy's been a crowbat doing what it does best, and that is a lot. <laughs> Glad I didn't take the other route. I actually had an idea with crowbat of uh, running a white herb curse set, and also the stallbreaker set, which actually is better this generation. But the stallbreaker set is very slow. And while it could be effective, it's not made for this type of meta. Oof. I've been very, very luckily spared here with uh, no real... Um, no draught and no grassy terrain. So I think my opponent is bringing something more in-game. And uh, while it works for good showcases, I can't help feeling a bit... Um, a bit overwhelming for my opponent at the moment. So Diamond Storm here. Don't think there's anything to it. Thing is though, I can't do anything versus uh, Aegis Slash. Here comes the Rillaboom. I need my plus two here for sure. Look at that. No plus two however. <laughs> Can I risk it? Like stealth rocks would be nice. Yeah, I'm, I mean I'm chunky. From beating should do a good chunk. Anyway, even if I'm chunky, oh yeah, oh, it's not great. It is not great. But punishes switchings, however, could be nice in the long run. So we'll take that route. However, I cannot take another one of these. So what I'm going to do now is bring in Archangel, Archangel again, because I say Archangel, but Archangel, and uh, Joyce Band U-Turn. Um, if um, he predicts me right, which he decided not to do, but I am fearing like any hit that could consider neutral, at least Crowbat keeps Rillaboom at check to an extent. Let's see. If I were my opponent, I would probably... Okay. Did not like Crobat. One bit. Crobat probably just did too much. Anyway, this guy really sort of ended up like that. But, yeah, <laughs> thank you for the game anyway. And for everyone watching, that's all I guess. Thank you for doing YouTube. Sorry for the short game. And to make sure to, of course, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next video. Until then, take care, little one.